Hey Coconuts, welcome back to Coco's Kingdom. It's been a couple weeks since I last posted a video. I had started a new job, so I don't have as much free time as I usually had. But I'm still gonna try my best on my days off to do more animal things and get things recorded for you guys. Also, I've noticed uh, I have a few more subscribers, so if this is your first time here, welcome to my kingdom and I hope you enjoy following me on my journey and watching my kingdom grow. Last week on Sunday, I had went to the Reptilian Nation Reptile Expo and I vlogged a little bit on that, but I didn't get enough content to make a full video. So I figured I'd throw it into this one so it'd be more content and quality over just me posting random videos over the timeline. So my intentions were to just get supplies for the, um, the Thrive Terrarium I got from PetSmart for the day gecko that I'm going to get in the future. But my friend had mentioned that I had an extra terrarium and I was like, yeah, it's just sitting there. So like if I had come across something that I really wanted, I had the space and means to set up an enclosure for whatever I would get. So the tank was a 40 gallon, so possibly I could have split it for two more leopard geckos, got another ball python or maybe a sand boa that I've been really wanting for a long time. I'm just going to cut to the chase and say that I got a new leopard gecko and today's video is just going to be uh, meeting all of my leopard geckos. So now I have three in total which I told myself I'd stop at five because I still wanted an orange one. Leopard geckos to me are super easy to manage and care for compared to like other animals in general since they really only eat like such a varied diet and only need so much attention and care as well. I'm not trying to say it's an animal that you can neglect, but it is on the easier side of like, you know, difficulty in terms of reptile keeping. So I guess in terms like, yes, they are a very great beginner reptile. So I'm just going to roll the footage of the reptile expo now and then get to the geckos right after that. There's a few friends that I'm going to see there. I'm going to meet up with Oksana, which is aqua. So, oh, she's like potato snacks, something sacks. Now I'll put it right here or right here since it's darker or here, oh, somewhere. So pretty much I think I'm only gonna get supplies. I do have room for reptiles, which include like space for two leopard geckos, but I'm not sure if I actually like want some. If I see one that I have to have, you know, maybe I'll just take it home. So pretty much I need supplies for the leopard geckos. I wanted to get a ton of sticks for them so they can climb around. Some for donut my ball python as well. And some more supplies for the Thrive Terrarium that I got on Black Friday from PetSmart. But I am really excited. Like I said, I've been waiting months, so I'm going to get going now.
So it was a little crowded in there and I kind of wanted to enjoy the show instead of recording all the time, but I'm going to show you guys what I got. I got some isopods, they're dairy cows, and springtails from Tim Sharp Frogs, and I got a new leopard gecko from Redwood Exotic. It's a snow. A little naked right now, but he's gonna turn a lot darker and have white patches on him when he grows up. Okay, so back to the geckos. I hope you guys enjoyed my little clip of Little Reptile Expo Fun. I did want to vlog and like show you guys the whole experience, but when I do that, it kind of takes away from like what I do and how much I'm paying attention there. And they're only held so often every year, so I figured I'd enjoy like looking around more than just like recording and trying to get more content. But if you ever do have the opportunity to go to one in your area, I like seriously recommend it. It's normally like under $15 for admission and there's like thousands of reptiles that you can look at and some vendors even allow you to hold them. It might even be that you don't even know that you have them in your area because I didn't know until last year but they've been doing it for years. So if you do have the chance, please go to one. It's like super worth it. And you get a link up with a lot of people, meet breeders. It's just a lot more ethical to me to like pick up an animal from a reptile show than PetSmart since a lot of the breeders do put in more care, time, and effort. And they're smaller scale so you're supporting like smaller businesses as well. Enough of me like talking about that stuff. I'm in the process of rearranging my room. That's why there's like a big mess that if you guys could just ignore and pay attention to this instead. Um, I'm moving all my reptiles into the corner of my room, which is right here. I had wanted to stack a 40 on top of a 40 and then two of the taller 20 gallon terrariums on top, the 18 by 18 by 24s. However, the lids and lamps take up a lot more like top space than I had thought and I don't think I want to stack the 24 inches on top of that because it's just too high and I'm a short person so I probably won't see my reptiles on top most of the time. So instead I'm just going to keep the 240s on top of each other and when I have time to save for Exoterras or the Thrive Terrain from PetSmart I'll probably switch to those which I can bring them down lower. It'd just be safer since they're not as high. They have a less likely chance of falling just in case something happens. And it just saves a lot more room too. Reason being they open up from the front instead of the top. So I could bring down each shelf lower and have the terrariums closer to each other. So moving on to the fun stuff, I'm gonna introduce you guys to all three of my geckos, which is Honey, Cookie, and then the one I just picked up this weekend that is still unnamed and unsexed as well. The breeder, Redwood Exotics, I'll put it at right here, said it was incubated for female, but you know, leopard geckos can really go both ways just because temperature is not always a 100% indication of what it'll be. I'm just gonna keep an eye out whether it grows some lumps like at the base of its tail or not, which will tell me if it's male or female, and then I'll probably name it then. I got my first gecko out and here is Honey. Honey, do you wanna say hi to everybody? Turn around, baby. So this is Honey, he is my Super Hypo Tangerine Leopard Gecko. Um, I believe the Super Hypo in the Tangerine just means he has no spots on his body or head. And he also has a carrot tail, which means the base of his tail right here over a certain percentage is orange compared to the rest of the body. Honey's my first leopard gecko that I got from a reptile show and I was told it was a female, but according to Honey, he's not a girl. And you can tell, like I said, from he has little bulges at the base of his tail right here that'll indicate that it's a male. And he grew them around like eight or nine months or so. Honey's about a year and a half now, which leopard geckos live to around 15 years averaging. He is my easiest to handle gecko. So here's Honey, little cutie. Just in case no one has a leopard gecko, I want you to be able to see all his little bumpies. And they're, I mean, leopard geckos to me are pretty squishy. So you might think they're like kind of hard in comparison. Like a bearded dragon has a lot more hard scales on it, but leopard geckos are squishy and their tail, which I prefer not to touch, which I guess you could gently touch like this but I prefer not to touch because they can drop them. 
it's a lot squishier. It's basically a nutrient sack because that's where they store all their nutrients. So if you're wondering, because I didn't know this before, just like other geckos such as like crested geckos, day geckos, they have softer pads that stick so they can't really grip on your hand as well but leopard geckos have tiny claws and they can hold on to you and they, you can feel them. Sometimes when they're super sharp they'll like scratch in your skin and it can get irritating sometimes as well. Just as like a mini allergic reaction I guess. So I'm gonna put Honey back now and grab Cookie out. Here's Cookie, she's a Halloween mask leopard gecko. The only thing that makes her Halloween mask is there's a marking on her head if she'll let me show. Oh, I guess she's not gonna let me show. But it's basically just a little patch around her um, forehead that makes them Halloween mask. And here she is. She's normally a lot more yellow, but it's a little on the colder season, so she's a little toned down right now. Cookie is also around a year and a half old. She's a little bit younger than Honey because I got her probably two months after I got Honey, but she was a lot smaller than where are you going? She does have a chunkier tail than Honey does. I don't know if that's a female trait or that she just gets chunkier than Honey. So like I said before, they do have claws, so I do feel this and she is able to stick on her own. So if you had like a crested gecko or a day gecko, like I said, their pads don't stick. So as they kind of climb on you, they like slide down when they stop. Anyways, if you guys want to get a close up of her pattern, she's got like a striped tail with spots in between. It's like brown and white patches. And the cutest face ever. Leopard geckos are like hands down my favorite reptile. Although I've only had leopard geckos and a ball python. I don't know why. There's just something about them that I say everyone needs a leopard gecko in their life. I'm also thinking about going bioactive for them. I'm not sure yet. Just because it's like I don't know if I want to deal with the bugs in their enclosure. And on top of that, leopard geckos are like really easy to clean after. They poop in one spot. And they don't really make a mess besides that. I want to see if you guys can get her little alligator eyes. So pretty, baby. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put Cookie back just because she's not as like easy to handle and doesn't like it as much as Honey does. She's okay with it. I mean, I wouldn't take my animals out just to stress them out if I knew they were like super against it. She just only has so much patience. Like she'll stay in one spot and then she'll like keep crawling until she's put back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put her back before she does the crawling stuff. I'm just gonna start dipping on my hand and we'll put you back. My last and third lover gecko, I'm just gonna bring the camera over to the enclosure and film him it film it inside its enclosure because i like to give my reptiles or animals in general a week or two of a settling period so i don't want to handle unless i have to or just keep handling to a minimum so they can really settle in and they're not stressed out because they're already transitioning environments so i'm pretty sure i know which cave is in since it hasn't moved but this one is a super snow eclipse i'm gonna put the correct one somewhere because i don't have it right now but it's um, he kind of, it, okay, it, it looks like raw chicken right now because that's how they look when they're babies. Leopard geckos don't look the same when they're babies, okay? So if you're going to get a leopard gecko, it's like a surprise, okay? Like you'll get a yellow one, then it turns like pale and like not even spotted or like it has stripes and then grows up with spots. So if you're choosing a leopard gecko for a specific morph and color, make sure you talk to the breeder because they're going to know what it looks like when it grows up or what it's going to turn into. If you pick up a leopard gecko from Petco, um, your choice, I'm not going to be like, you know, don't do Petco, blah, 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 they do, they, pros and cons of everything. If you do, it's not, it's most likely not going to look like the day you picked it up after a year since they do sell them as babies and baby leopard geckos never look the same when they grow up. Okay, so I'm gonna insert a picture of how it looks like right now, raw chicken. It looks like you'd probably get salmonella from handling my leopard gecko. But in a year or a few months down the line, 
this is what his father looked like picture here that's how I keep saying him like I know what it is that's how my leopard gecko is going to look like when it grows up like 99% because that's what the breeder bred it for and that's what the breeder said the dad looked like when it was a baby itself I'm gonna take you guys now over to see the piece of rock chicken in a terrarium okay like I said I'm moving everything here so honey and cookie are on top honey just squeezed into his favorite corner right over there and cookie is being a weirdo cookie what do you he's always doing that anyways downstairs we have a piece of raw chicken baking inside of a cave I'm pretty sure he's in this one it it I'm pretty sure it is in here but fair warning when I lift that rock it's not gonna look like this okay it's not gonna be like oh my god how cute I mean I think he's I personally think he is adorable right now but some people are like whoa that thing looks like an alien and you know I could see that but anyways sorry to bother you look at that piece of raw chicken so he's super pink it it is super pink so that's my third leopard gecko again doesn't have a name don't know what it is still waiting for an update on a birthday but i will keep you guys updated on instagram with what he looks like how he's growing and all that after this video i'm gonna see if they eat because he hasn't eaten yet which is totally okay especially in the first week since i said they're still adjusting you should give them time space to themselves so that's just gonna be a short introduction of this one since like i said i don't want to bother him too much okay now go wash your hands because i don't want you guys to get salmonella <laughs> anyways he is a it it it's a tiny baby so so I won't know what it is until a few months down, but I'll keep you guys updated on Instagram like I said before. Thank you guys so much for being so patient with me, especially not having a video every week because I could technically get a video out every week, but I want it to be something that's interesting and quality as well. I get it, a lot of channels like throw out a lot of videos, especially since I have monetization set up, but I want this channel to be something that you guys could keep up with and you know, have fun with as well and not like be overwhelmed by so those are all three of my leopard geckos in the future like i said i want to get five total so the fourth one would be an orange one which i kind of found a breeder in socal that i want to get it from i think it's gecko daddy on instagram i'll put their at right here too they have like super orange leopard geckos which i wanted one so bad there's something about orange animals that i like and then my last one i wanted a giant leopard gecko there's something about bigger animals that I like too. So anyways, that concludes meeting all my leopard geckos. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm hoping that I'll be able to achieve my dream of living on an animal farm, rescuing animals, and taking care of them all day because that's all I want to do in life. So again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you coconuts next time. Bye everyone! On to the fun stuff. I'm gonna introduce you guys to all three of my geckos. The mailman just walked by. I think he was looking at me talking to myself.